Shutdown enters its second week and it sure sounds like the stalemate is sticking around. This weekend, Speaker Boehner insisted there are not the votes in the House to pass a clean spending bill. Today, a dare for the Speaker directly from the President's mouth. Then they should prove it. Let the bill go to the floor and let's see what happens. The president visited FEMA today, one of the many agencies affected by the prolonged shutdown. And he says there is a bipartisan majority in the House to pass a clean spending bill without any attachments to health care. My very strong suspicion is that there are enough votes there. And the reason that uh, Speaker Boehner hasn't called a vote on it is because uh, he doesn't apparently want to see the government shut down end at the moment. The bigger concern now, the riskier economic deadline just ahead. In 10 days, the nation will reach its cap on borrowing. Economists warn that a failure to raise the debt ceiling will result in Social Security payments, IRS refunds, Medicare reimbursements and veterans benefits all being threatened, higher interest rates and a slowdown in purchases of houses, cars and anything else that requires a loan. The speaker says on this issue, too, the Republicans are united. They won't agree to raise the borrowing limit unless the White House agrees to some spending cuts with no new taxes. It's time to have that conversation before our economy is put further at risk. The growing feeling now on Capitol Hill settle into this partial shutdown. It may stick around until Congress works out the bigger deal on debt. In Washington, I'm Sunlin Serfati reporting.